The Victorian Attorney General, Rob Holes, has become embroiled in the scandal at Brimbank Council. Rob Holes admits he endorsed the character of a convicted criminal at the centre of the Ombudsman's report and made him a Justice of the Peace. As Josie Taylor reports, until tonight, the JP Haki Suleiman worked for the Planning Minister, Justin Madden. The Attorney General signed off on Haki Suleiman's application to become a Justice of the Peace in 2007. In light of the damning Ombudsman's report into the Brimbank City Council, that appears a big mistake. I uh, contacted uh, the head of my department and asked them to do an immediate assessment of Mr Solomon's um, uh, appointment as a uh, JP and the status of that appointment uh, and I expect to get that advice shortly. The Ombudsman's report found Haki Suleiman, while working for Planning Minister Justin Madden, improperly influenced the Brimbank City Council while his daughter Natalie was mayor. Mr Suleiman has convictions for violent offences. He should have known and he should have acted and he should not have appointed Mr Suleiman as a JP. The opposition says the Premier must act. Sack Haki or stand him aside today. Late tonight, Justin Madden took action. He suspended Haki Suleiman from his position, pending an inquiry into whether he breached the code of conduct for electorate officers. Another Labor figure named as having inappropriate influence on the Brimbank City Council is convicted criminal Andrew Theophanis. The former Federal MP denies he or his brother, State MP Theo Theophanis, inappropriately influenced council matters, but concedes the affair has been damaging for the Labor Party. The Premier should initiate an investigation into branch stacking, not only in Brimbank, I might say, but around the state. It's been like a war zone out here. We've had two factions of this Labor Party fighting, and it's take no prisoners. Brimbank residents want Justin Madden's resignation, saying he's ignored their problems for years. This council is as dysfunctional as the last council. Ratepayers are still fighting the Brimbank Council, who've hiked rates to build new council chambers on a public oval. Josie Taylor, ABC News, Melbourne. The jump